Yo, what's going on, Sound Swift? I'm Shamik Moore, and this is my studio. I'm about to show you guys how it all happened. Follow me, follow me. This right here is the lobby. This is where we chill, have fun, watch TV, just laugh, and you know, just be up. All so that hard work works up a good appetite. Believe me, follow me in here. And here is more of the workspace area where Gina from Bad News Entertainment is. There's all the marketing and promotion and things like that. And this right here is where all the magic happens. Soundswift.com, get your profile up. This man right here is my manager slash producer, Errol Moore from Bad News Entertainment and Island Groove Music Works. And this young lady right here is Renita from Bad News Entertainment. What's up, Sound Swift? <laughs> yeah, she makes sure that I'm looking straight, everything's looking straight, the videos, the music, everything. She, she puts everything together, you know what I mean? And this right here is little Lonnie. This is the man that makes sure all my tracks are right, ain't that right, Lonnie? Yeah, I thought he was gonna leave me hanging there, brother. But yeah. So, this song right here that's playing is my song, Galaxy Love. I'm gonna let you guys listen, tell me what you think, and I'm gonna go fix some bad notes, all right? My music style is actually pretty different. I have a style mixed with pop, R&B, and hip hop. Um, I love to incorporate different other, you know, other genres as far as like rock and reggae because you know I love the guitar as far as rock goes and like bands like All American Rejects and Paramore and I love reggae because you know, my family is Jama Jamaican. So my mother and my father and their parents and their parents are all from Jamaica. So I have to incorporate that genre into some of my music. My musical influences are Marion, Chris Brown, Usher, Michael Jackson, and Prince. They are amazing. That's why I like them. Uh, okay, well, they all dance. They're all great performers. They all have great voices. And all of them have this this it factor, you know, it, it stands out from the rest of the other artists. Like, they're, if you ask them, if you ask anybody who's like the best out of like all the artists, they, those will be one of the first names that people will say. I saw Chris Brown perform on uh, May 11, 2009, I believe. May 11th, that's, that's a day I will never forget. I saw him on stage and I, and it just made me know that I wanted to sing and dance. I wanna do something different than any other kid is doing out there because if I join what's already in the pot, I'm no different than you know what else is already in there. So I wanna stand out, I wanna make people grab me, and I wanna make people like see what Shamik Moore is all about. You know, as far as my dancing skills goes, I don't feel like there's anybody out there that's touching me, period.
have an agent. Um, I have a few agents in in Atlanta at uh, Jay Purvis, Joy, and Jamie Purvis. So they um, sent me on this audition. Like they actually the what what happens with these TV shows? A lot of people don't know. There's a breakdown that goes out for the particular character. So um, the House of Pain folks, the people that write the scripts and things like that, they wrote this the 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 character Dante and Andre in there and originally it was the same person they was choosing the name and they sent it out and they said that they wanted you know a black kid um short and a uh, nice smile and very charismatic and things like that just breakdowns and then they send the script so the agency picks the kids that they want to send out on that particular audition that they feel that will represent them properly and they sent me uh my best friend and a few other kids out there and sure enough it was down to me and my best friend shout out to Jacob Lattimore and uh, they they decided to choose both of us you can see it Growing Pains Tyler Perry House of Pain go check that out TBS is online now and everything so check that out two years ago I auditioned for this Cartoon Network commercial down at Block South in Atlanta and uh, I was first and foremost just excited that I got to audition for such a popular company because I watch Cartoon Network all the time and when I got there I saw all these other kids uh, break dancing and everything spin spinning on their heads and I know I can't spin on my head oh well, at the time I couldn't and so I, I went in there and I was like the only kid popper I guess that's what made me stand out from everybody else so when I went in there I had my fingers crossed and I did my thing and I was the only real popper that was there and you know I was a little kid too I'm still a little kid but and they asked me to stay so I was like, wow, like, I, this is my first commercial I ever auditioned for, so, you know, what my, my mind frame was like, they was gonna have me audition, and if they liked me, they would call me back, like, weeks and weeks down the road. <laughs> they asked me to stay, so I was, I was just like, wow. Right now, I'm working on my mixtape named I Am The Beat, which, because, you know, I am the beat of the music, and I am the beat of your girlfriend's heart, you know, boom, boom can't breathe without me so <laughs> but uh yeah i'm working on that and we also have some movie deals in the process we're working on some of that and then uh working on a lot of tv stuff commercials and uh you know tv series very uh, a lot of different things actually uh it's gonna be great we're taking over this year team measy fyb we're in here bad news entertainment island groove music works we're doing it this is the takeover shameek moore takeover I will be the best. All right, Sound Swift, thank you for following me on my journey today, on my journey to success. And now we're gonna be going home, so I'm gonna talk to y'all later, all right? You ain't gotta leave, but you gotta get the heck up out of here. Peace. Bad news!